Greetings. Welcome to another exciting episode of Pastor's Desk, Unpacking the Bible. And I am your host, Unkarabile Mokoto. Today we are joined by another powerful servant of God, Pastor, actually Apostle Floyd Masuku and Pastor Mapanga, who are going to unpack the Bible for us today. Pastor Floyd and Pastor Mapanga, thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you so thank much. You, thank, you. thank you so much, Pastor things. Wisdom. Thank you for having us today. Thank you, thank you. I actually yes. forget, I, I keep on saying pastor and he's an apostle. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have to, you know, refer it very, very well. Uh, pastor Apostle Floyd, uh, please, before we get into our, our topic today, let's just know who is uh, Apostle Floyd Masuku. Uh, I'm Apostle Floyd Masuku. I come from... Uh, Tsepi Song uh, in the West Rand, just next to Kariso. Uh, I fellowship at Life Changing Pioneers Ministries uh, that is led by Pastor Goodman Hack. Thank, okay. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Mapanga. Thank you, uh, Pastor Wisdom. This is Pastor Mapanga from Ebum Nandin, Tsepi Song West. Uh, I now stay in uh, Vedpoti. I used to stay in Kariso and uh, ministering there in uh, Bumnandini at the ministry call and time gospel. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Let's go straight to our topic for today. Um, the topic that is very, what I can say, um, I don't know, argumentative or debate, I don't know yes. the way that I can use, but a topic that has been trending a lot mm. uh, on social media, on the news, you know, in the churches, we have seen it, um, you know, about tithing. <laughs> so yes. let's just start uh, talk about the concept of tithing maybe before we speak about a lot of things the concept of tithing let's start uh, with you Apostle Floyd uh, thank, thank you again for the opportunity uh, Pastor Wisdom tithe oh, uh, a very broad discussion and topic uh, the first time we hear about tithe in the Bible it was during the time Abraham went to rescue Lot Amen. from those kings. Yes. And when he received all, the Bible says Melchizedek met him. Yes. Then by the by by his heart actually uh, he decided to give all that he had 10% of all what that he had so that is that is where basically tithe came from then uh, it's 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 a uh, it's something that was mm. him that has decided to give tithe it was not compelled by any law or any priest True. It was something that he himself decided in his heart that this is what I'm going to bless the, the servant of God because yes. the servant of God came and, 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 and ministered unto him with um, that bread and bread wine. Bread and wine. Yes and, yes, and he blessed Abraham. So Abraham, yes. in response to that, yes. he gave tenth of what he had. He could have gave 20, he could have gave even more. But he decided in his heart that he will give 10. So, uh, yeah, l l l let me just... Uh, uh, End there for yeah, now. Yeah. Okay. Pastor Mapanga, the concept of tithe. Yes. Uh, as an, uh, a reciprocation of the pronouncement of the blessing, mm -hmm. uh, Abraham, because remember this was after an encounter of having overcome uh, those kings, and then decided that he will give a tenth or 10% 10 of what he had actually gotten. The spoils and the, 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 the what we call the resources that he had, then he decided to give the 10%. So he actually started to institute the tithe before the law. So now, so now you can see that, uh, 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 okay, maybe one, one other thing we must also mention that as uh, Pastor Floyd has mentioned or Apostle Floyd has mentioned that Mel Melchizedek was actually a priest uh, and, and they brought bread and wine which, which are the elements of a covenant and then, and then therefore in response to the blessing that uh, Melchizedek pronounced 
on uh, Abraham. Then he, he he actually then gave that <clears throat> excuse me ten percent because whenever a covenant is being made, there must be a, 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 what we call a, what what is it now a promise being kept so to say now that I'm being blessed. Then what do I give? Mm-hmm. Now I must uh, uh, reciprocate and say I have been blessed by this servant of God. Now I am I'm now compelled to give a ten percent of what I have. Thank you, pastors, for explaining you know the concept of tithe or of tithing. Now I want to ask you this question: Why do you think we have so many arguments arguments around this issue of tithing? You know, some people say uh, nowadays tithing is not relevant. Uh, it was of Old Testament. It's not the New Testament. We never had any way where we, we see apostles talking about tithe. So why, why do we... Or before actually even that question, let's talk about the law because you guys explained that uh, tithing came before the law. Let's talk about now when tithing came as the law. Uh, as we all know, or as let, let me just refer back to uh, the law for a minute. We have the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes. Uh, those 12 tribes, God gave 11 tribes the position of, of the land. Only one tribe yes. was, uh, did not receive the, the yes. land, the, the position of the land. The Bible says, the Lord shall be the position yes. of that, that tribe. tribe, which is the Levites. The Levites. So, tithe, uh, when the children of Israel, those 11 tribes, uh, plow the land and, 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 and make use of the land, whatever they produce of that land, they will have to give the Levites. Yes. That was the, 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 the main thing of the tithe. Even in, 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 in the book of Malachi, the one that is, is used a lot of tithe, and when you not tithe, uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are going to be cursed. And You're hoping God. Yeah, you are not. Yeah, you are hoping God, yes. It, it, that, that verse or that scripture, mm-hmm. that portion of scripture, it was referring to the Levites, that the people were hoping the Levites of their Rightful, rightful share. yes, rightful share yeah. of the allocation, the 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 the, 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 the provision that yes God that God has has allocated yes. for them mm. for the Israelites to give. So whenever when they are not giving to the Levites, then God will respond with a curse, with a, a dreadful things that are mentioned in the Bible. Yes. So. <clears throat> it's a 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 shame today in church because we have to understand that the law has never brought anything perfect. The law is a shadow of the real thing that is to come. The real thing is Jesus Christ. The real thing is the grace of God, the truth of God. In the grace or in the dispensation of grace. Yes. We do not have priests as those uh, Levitical priests. Yes. We have priests in the order of Melchizedek. So, if the Lord did not bring anything perfect, how is it possible that the portion of the law which is tithe is perfect in the dispensation of grace? You see, that, 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 that's the question that we have to ask ourselves. If something is not perfect, a part of something is not perfect, which means, or the whole thing is not perfect, how, how can some part of that thing be perfect? So we, we, we need to unpack the, the, the reality of the law, or, or, or of the tithe, where in, 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 in relation to our time. What, uh, how do we use? How is it important? How, 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 how are, we, are, are, we, are we cursed really if we are not... Uh, 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 giving tithe according to the law. Pastor Mapanga, I want you to come in to what Apostle Floyd have said when he said we need to unpack the, re- the truth about tithing in our days okay. relevant to the order of Melchizedek. True. Please come in on, on that one. Okay. Uh, thanks, uh, Apostle Floyd, for, for sharing on that. 
Look, uh, we must understand another way of interpreting scripture. When, when the tithe is mentioned, like we were reading now, uh, looking at Genesis 14, where the tithe was first mentioned. So by the law of first mention, tithe should be preserved throughout scripture. And as we saw, even when the law was introduced through Moses in the Levitical order, the tithe was there, as uh, Apostle Floyd has rightfully said, as a portion that should be allocated to the priests. And I think the part that he was also going to was the part that to say in the new dispensation of grace, we still have priests and, Le and Levites, which are those who are working and serving in the house of the Lord, because that's what the what we call the Levites were doing in the in the in the law. Okay. Now we, we, I don't want to go to the to the part where we say maybe the law may not be perfect or may not be perfect. We may not go deeper into that, but we know that according to the law. In the Levitical, Levitical order that was uh, instituted by God, the tithe had to be given to the Levites as their share because they didn't get any allocation from the spoils or rather from the allocation of land that was given in Canaan. Okay, mm -hmm. now, 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 when 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 you interpret, let's go to that scripture. Just allow me for a while to go to Malachi, uh, just before. Sorry for the time. But let's just read that scripture. Just I want to show you something on this scripture. It says in Malachi chapter three, uh, for instance, from verse uh, eight, "Will a man, will will a mere mortal rob God? Yet you rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offerings. Not only in tithes, but also in offerings. You are under a curse, your whole your, uh, your whole nation, because you are robbing me." Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Now, why am I bringing this verse is that God is saying they are curse. What is a curse? What is a blessing? A blessing is an, an empowerment to prosper. Therefore, a curse is an empowerment not to prosper. As a result, if you don't pay or your, your, your tithe, because you must pay the tithe, the government take 14%, the vet, they don't ask you. So you are supposed to pay the tithe in the same way. And now we see that here, he says, we will not be blessed as to say there will be food in your house, as to say there are blessings that are coming in here. If I say to my child, I am just merely saying, my child, you must behave well. I don't really mean that I want to actually destroy and kill my child. As a matter of disciplining us, God was telling us that we won't be blessed. We won't succeed. We won't prosper. And he gave us all the benefits of paying the tithes. As the, the, the main understanding here is God is motivating us to pay the tithe. Not to say people must just focus to say, now because I'm not paying the tithe, I'm cursed. Which has been the contention as well to say, but I'm under grace. I am blessed under grace. How can I be cursed and blessed at the same time? Mm -hmm. And obviously we've had many servants of God saying, no, uh, people can tithe under grace so they can decide whether to tithe or not to tithe. Fine. If they believe like that, for them it's good. But according to the, the, the word of God, let me read the last scripture for you in Luke chapter 11. Let me watch, watch just one scripture that I want to make. This is now the words of Jesus Christ that he's mentioning here. So I'm merely saying, according to Malachi, we may have focused on the word curse, but at the same time, it was a motivation for us to pay our tithe so that we can be blessed. And God wanted us to what? To be blessed rather than focusing on saying, now I'm cursed, now this is going to happen to me. Of course, there, there will be consequences of you not getting whatever you wanted because you didn't uh, 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 sow with your tithe. I'm just reading in Luke 11 verse 42. Woe to you Pharisees because you give God a tenth of your mint, rue and other kinds of, of garden herbs, but you neglect justice uh, and the love of God. You should have practiced the latter without leaving the former undone. What is Jesus talking about here? He's talking about the Pharisees uh, 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 who, who were giving their tenth, or rather who were, because you give, they give a tenth, and then they ignored some of the qualities of love for God and so forth. And Jesus is saying, you should have practiced the latter. In other words, they must also what? Uh, 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 love God, justice, and so forth, but must not also ignore the former, which is what? Paying the tithe. So Jesus is talking about paying a tenth of what you have. Okay. Thanks, Pastor Mapanga. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, you spoke a lot of things, but I want to follow up on this issue of Levites and priests. 
uh, Apostle Floyd was saying that time they were given tithe because of the 11 tribes had their own share of the land, but the Levites did not have. Yes. Um, and he said that nowadays we don't have that type of the priesthood and the Levites, and we, we are, we are priests in the order of Melchizedek. And you, 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 you came and say, uh, as much as we don't have, but we have people who are working in the, in the, in the, in the church, Amen. which are Levites and priests. Now, I want to know, do we still, today, do we still use, or is tithe still being used the same like that one of the Levites and priests? Um, do we see people giving tithe and people who are working in the church, like Levites and priests, getting that share of the tithe? Or we see pastors getting that tithe? Yes. <laughs> Uh, what, 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 what I can say yeah, is um, in most cases the people that work it's, 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 it's not all ministries the people that work in the church in most cases they do not get the tithe True. you see so in, 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 in terms of that Levitical priesthood, we need to understand, and I, I, I like what uh, Umfundis is saying, what the, the way we interpret scriptures, we, we have to be careful. Because Moses, he, 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 he took the concept of tithe from Abraham mm -hmm. and Jacob. I was going to, uh, l l let me just read here in Genesis yes. uh, 28. I will start from verse, verse 20. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God uh, will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God, 22, and this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Amen. This is between God and Jacob. Amen. There is no priest, even in Abraham, there were no priests. That 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 uh, um, servant of God, Melchizedek, yes. he's he's okay. It's 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 another topic on its own. Yes. But the Hebrews did not have a priest. It only happened during the time of Moses. So Moses, referring to what he he Abraham and Jacob did, Jacob vowed and said, "If God yeah. is a condition that I'm going to give a tithe." It is not a law that I am told that give a tithe because a certain person or certain uh, people are not working or they don't, do not have any allocation. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are grafted in, we are Gentiles by nature. We are grafted in into this priesthood. We are priests, mm -hmm. royal priesthood according to the book of uh, 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 First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Yes. We are priesthoods mm -hmm. and it does not say pastors are priesthoods. It says the whole house, the whole house of believers are priests. We are now priests and kings unto the Lord. So the, 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 the share in the tithe, the money that comes in a form of a tithe in church is, is not used in, in accordance to the, to, to the way it's supposed to be, if we follow the, the Mosaic law or the, the Levitical tithing, it is not used in accordance. Just to add, just to add um, you see, because of the changing times, remember in the olden days, people would give, like in terms of food, in terms of, uh, you know, animals being uh, sacrificed and so forth. So you could you could then understand that uh, there was there was a, a, a what call an, um, a real you know food as in terms of 
the physical food being given to say, right, these people uh, or the priests needed that so that they can survive and carry out their responsibilities mm-hmm. without which they wouldn't be able to. But what the good thing that God, or rather I would say, <laughs> I would say the good thing is that he, he, he put those offerings so that at least people will continually be bringing those offerings. If you look at nowadays, uh, people go to church wherever they want to, my brother. Mm. People uh, decide what they want to do with their money. We are no longer tithing with animals, with uh, our crops and so forth. You know, People tithe with money nowadays. Yeah. And therefore, uh, when they receive their money, uh, they decide for themselves what to do. And unfortunately, even those who go to church neglect the fact that, in fact, they were supposed to be taking care of their pastors who are actually serving them by blessing them, by praying for them, and even by being there to give them counseling uh, whenever they need to. And, and, and people nowadays are more kind of like selfish, you know. In the olden days, it was communal living where people could come together, enjoy together, and, and, and God wanted them to come and meet and celebrate. But nowadays, people want to enrich themselves. So a lot of greed has come into many believers and they've been deceived in not uh, understanding the importance of paying the tithes. That even though they are not paying the tithe as it used to have been in, in the olden days and it, it, the tithe may not be used in the same way, but there is a way in which that can happen so mm-hmm. that it can bring a blessing yes. to the believers because how else can God not bless us if he says, test me in this because the tithe is a covenant connector so that now all the blessings that are mentioned in the covenant, the word of God, will therefore be available uh, for, for, for the people of God. So uh, as I hear you, servants of God, is that nowadays... Uh, as much as tithe is not, because there are there are there are two sides of okay. of this. Right. Some will say tithe was of the law, and now during this grace, we don't have, we don't have to pay tithe. Right. Yeah. There are two sides of the story. True. Now those okay. If we agree that tithe must be continued to be paid. Yes. We we also agree that. People are greedy, especially ministers are greedy nowadays. That's other other ministers, part. yes. yes. Mm-hmm. They are not really using tithe the, the right way it was used. Mm-hmm. True. Because like the scripture that you, you have read, Malachi chapter 3, mm-hmm. it speaks about bringing the food in the yes. house so that people, there will be food, be food yes. you know, so that people who work in the church, as, and as you have explained earlier, yeah. that the Levites and the priest, mm-hmm. yes. and, and, and Apostle Floyd also came in and says, look, we are all priests and Levites. Yeah. Uh, today, people who are working in the church, to be honest, they don't get, most of the time, they don't get the say. It, it also goes to the minister. So we, we now agree that it's not actually, if people continue to give it, but it's not used accordingly. Now, the question will be, what must happen now? Must people now leave to pay tithe because it's not used accordingly? Or people must just do that because it is in the word of God? No, 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 no. We need to understand this, that... Uh, there is tithe, tithe, the tithe that Abraham paid, it was not of the law. Okay. It was not of the law. Okay. It, it, he was blessed, then he gave. Okay. It, it was not. So, secondly, the tithe that uh, Jacob uh, 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 vowed to give, it was not mm-hmm. also of the law. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it has to be paid. You, you, it, it, it is by faith. Abraham is, is our father in, in, in faith. faith. Yes. We, we, we live up to what Abraham has done. You, you, you see? Yes. So, a lot of things we have learned from, from our father Abraham, never to lose faith in God, even in the, in the, in the, in the, in the oldness of uh, his wife. He believed God that he will do what he has promised. Yes. So, why not pay tithe because you are already blessed? God gave you this in order. I mean, servants of God, we, we must be realistic. Yes. Uh, at church, some of our churches, we use buildings. Mm-hmm. We need to pay rent. Pay rent. We need to pay uh, 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 um, installments. Uh, installments. Yes. We need to pay. So, where is that money going to be come to, 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 yeah, to come from? If they don't pay, tithe. If they don't pay <laughs> tithe. But the issue here is that are we paying tithe or giving to the Lord according to the law or according to faith? 
That, 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 that is the issue here. Yes. So if we pay tithe according, then we understand that, you know, faith uh, transcends both uh, 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 the Old and the New Testament. It, it comes from the Old and it, it, it transcends. So if faith transcends, then what Abraham did and what Jacob did, yes. it has to be done so that things may be in order in the house of God. You know, the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. Yes. You see, you are right, Pastor uh, Wisdom. The tithe may not necessarily be used in the right way. But as uh, Apostle Floyd has explained, the word of God is the word of God. Uh, it is true that some of the interpretation from the Old Testament might differ in the dispensation of mm -hmm. grace, uh, whereby uh, in the New Testament, you remember in the book of Acts, there was these people, Ananias and Sapphira. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, uh, yes. There, people would give their whole yes. uh, uh, yes. estate yes. or their whole, whole houses mm -hmm. because they wanted to see the work of God continue. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously, God will obviously bless them because he said, test me in this. The word of God doesn't change. Mm. Times may change mm. and people might change in terms of how they view certain things, mm. but we should still remain grounded in the principles of tithing mm. and so forth and so forth. And back in that situation of Ananias and Sapphira, because those people never gave and they actually lied yes. because they said, we are going to co collect money mm. and we are going to give to the church. Mm. And, and then the apostles were waiting to say, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Mm. And on the way they said, oh, we are going to uh, <laughs> split it apart and give this one and put it aside. And God punished them right there. Can you believe that they had to die right in front mm. of the church? Mm. Which was how God was actually warning people mm. to be afraid if they mm. give a promise and they don't yes. keep that promise. Yes. So now it's, yes. a, it's a lesson yes. for us. Even though we can see, you don't say because now I, I see people are not giving in the church, so I'm not going to give. Oh, people are not giving. Mm. Our pastors are eating our money. Mm. I am not going to give. Mm. I am not going to give. There are good pastors out there that you can give to and you can see how they are accountable to their money in terms of budgeting and the church boards are there to account for how they are using their money. Because I think that's also another area whereby if you can account to how money is being used in the church, then surely mm. you can invite people to give and they can see exactly what's happened as mm. Pastor mm. Uh, Apostle Ford has mentioned in terms of instruments that have to be paid, in terms of uh, expenses of making mm. revivals mm. and so forth. Otherwise, the devil will be happy mm. that people are not giving <laughs> because he's probably behind this thing of the other time so that the gospel will not go out there without money there's no preaching of the yes, gospel yes. <laughs> so true. pastors i want you to uh, i want to understand you very careful now you you have mentioned the issue of the the things that we need as the church the instruments the buildings and the church building and everything now are you saying now nowadays tithe must be used for such expenses um, because remember where we come from, Malachi chapter 3, mm. there must be food, mm. you know, not instrument, there must be food <laughs> 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 so that people can eat. <laughs> so I want to understand that are we now paying tithe to nowadays so that other expenses can be paid and not this one of the food of the priests and Levites? <laughs> what are we saying about that? Uh, <laughs> We, 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 we need to be wise in, in, in doing the, the ministry. The scripture that uh, Umfundisi has, has, has quoted in Malachi, it is not referring to tithes only. It's tithes and, and offerings. offerings. Yeah. When we look at offerings, yes. we go back to, uh, is it uh, Exodus 35? Okay. Where the temple or the, the, the that tent yes. of meeting has to be yes. yes has to be erected. Exactly. The Bible says God said to Moses, mm. "Go and ask for offering, not tithe, offering, so that the tent will be made." So the Bible says, "Everyone according to what is the in house. his heart yes. or her heart, he came and gave." Yes. So that scripture. In Malachi, is not tithes only. Tithe will do the work that tithe is supposed to, 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 to do. Then the offerings has to be to do the, the, the works that the offerings has to do. Okay. So today when we give tithe, we are giving the one of Malachi 
or we're giving the one of Jacob or we're giving the one of Abraham. <laughs> well, the time will always be a time. Whichever way you call it, it's still the 10%. Whether it's in the law or in the, uh, under the grace, but we still have to pay. Uh, just to add, because of the needs, remember mm. times have changed. Mm. People decide in the church to say, okay, even though the pastor is supposed to be getting the tithe, but he decides because of the needs in the church, some of the tithe will be used for those instruments mm. or for mm. the other needs, yes. depending on the situation. Yes. God allows us that grace because yes. we find that the pastor maybe is also working mm. in order to augment his salary because very without sometimes with, with, with working only in the church, you find that there's not enough tithe mm. or money mm. that comes mm. in. And mm. that's why we have to ask for other offerings and yes. so forth. So therefore, the church can decide to say some of the tithe will have to do certain expenses that are in the house of the Lord. But definitely it is to take care of the servant of God. Okay. Uh, let's talk about, um, you know, there is this issue that has happened, and I think we have seen it. Uh, a well-known man of God, uh, I'm, I'm going to name it because I'm going to quote him now, Creful Dollar. Uh, it's not a secret because he came, you know, publicly. And, and said, after more than 20 years of my life, I repent. You know, uh, I, I preached a wrong thing about tithing. You know, and I want to quote what he said here. He said, tithing is not biblical. The Bible says tithing was not money. Tithe preachers and peers are really robbing God. That's what he said. More than 20 years after he preached about tithe, he then repented and said, no. Uh, actually preached a wrong thing. I think you have seen this yeah, yeah. in media, yeah. in social media, all over. Yeah. What is your take on this? Uh, it's it's a difficult thing to to comment on what the yeah, servant of God uh, yeah. has been uh, doing. Yeah, that is why when when I personally I I I, I minister to people. Pastors have to direct people to Christ. That, that, that's, and people have to know this. Pastors have to direct people to Christ. Because when a person or a pastor makes a mistake, the whole church will be... Shaken. in Yeah. And yeah. if a church really look up to the pastor is a servant, is an instrument that is, that is leading people to Christ. You know. So if 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 we can we can learn by that and and and, and we, 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 we we read the weight of God ourselves exactly. as believers, we will yeah. know what is the truth and not. So, but to, to, to go in line or wait by wait of what the servant is saying, it's, it's, it's difficult because we don't know his position. As he said those words, what, were, what was happening in, in his surroundings? Yes, we have, you see, yeah. yes. And I like what you said, uh, uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor Floyd, because uh, we have to respect servant of God, yes. number one. Yes. Yes. And um, sometimes people make statements and then later on, uh, when we sit down and we analyze that, how will the body of Christ yes. uh, receive this, mm -hmm. this, this message? And, and unfortunately, uh, it didn't settle well. Yes. And uh, people have been stressing the issue that let the word of God be the mm -hmm. re word of mm -hmm. God. Let's rely on what God is saying. Mm -hmm. We don't know the context of that. Yes. And uh, if we can comment you might be commenting and, and you might yeah. be incorrect because we yeah. also don't want yeah. to bring division mm. among the body of Christ. Mm. And therefore, for us, it will be wiser rather to just say what the Bible is saying mm. and tell the people the Bible, the word of God is for us to come to God, to know the truth mm. and do what God said. Robbing God by paying 10%? I don't think so. By not paying 10%, <laughs> you are actually robbing God. That's what the Bible is saying. Here. <laughs> Nevertheless, you will only just, you know, <laughs> focus on what the Bible is <laughs> Okay, okay, Mafundisi. Um, I think I'm going to ask you the last question because time is not on our side, unfortunately. Thank you so much. Um, the issue, again, that many believers and also non-believers are concerned about is that many preachers, when they talk about this issue of tithe, they scare them. Yeah. 
you know <laughs> and one of the scripture that they use is the one that you, you have read malachi mm-hmm. chapter 3 mm-hmm. and uh, well you have explained that yeah. they you know even made example about a parent yeah. mm-hmm. but people have concern about that that you know pastors will tell you that if you don't tithe you'll not be blessed mm-hmm. you'll be cursed mm-hmm. some will even go to extend of saying you'll not go to heaven mm-hmm. another pastor stood up and said uh, if you don't give tithe you'll not go to heaven you know another one stood up and say if you don't give tithe you don't have covenant with god you know so people are concerned about those scary things you know they end up now not understanding this issue of tithe please can you elaborate on the one of minister scaring people to give tithe hey the bible is is clear that we enter heaven through jesus christ there might be things that happen in the in the in the in the during our walk with god mm-hmm. and uh, that needs us <coughs> to, to 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 be forgiven uh, uh, and so on yes i assure you the bible says that the only person that will not enter heaven is the one that did not receive jesus christ, jesus christ. so Let me just uh, elaborate further or expand this. Take for example that you are blessed, someone blessed you. Yes. Like logically, uh, if I help you in fundis, maybe in, in 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 you want to study something then I I I I help you financially. Mm. Then logically or if if you are someone that has a conscience after you finish graduating and mm-hmm. you got the job and stuff mm-hmm. you will come and bless me mm-hmm. it, it, it's not a, a requirement or a must but no. because of that consciousness yes. that you have towards me that friendship you will say no that person helped me I have to bless him I have to give something to him mm. for appreciation yes. that this is what I did uh, this that I appreciate for what you did to me yes. you see so same, with God. same thing with God same thing with Abraham Abraham was already blessed mm. then he decided to give that 10% to 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 the servant of God mm. then we come to the the scarier part mm-hmm. of Jacob Jacob made a vow. Then you go to the mm. Bible and, 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 and you you study about vows. Vows everyone that has has made a vow to do something for the Lord, he has mm. to he has to perform it. He has to perform. And he you do a vow before the Lord, not yes. before a pastor, yeah. not before someone. You do a vow before, like take for example the, the 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 issue of the Nazarites, Numbers chapter six. They they went and made a vow that they won't drink any strong drinks they won't cut their hair yes. those things they have to observe because they made a vow before the lord so once you break a vow it's a covenant between you and god not a church and you and a pastor and you it is between you and god is that friendship between you and god imagine then you break that friendship you're not fulfilling that what god has done for you because after you've made a vow You, there are requests that God this is what I'm going to do if yeah. as much as uh, 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 in the same manner as um, Jacob this is what God give me a car mm. this is what I'm going to do for you God give me a, 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 a wife yes. this is what I'm going to do yes. then God gives you a wife then you do not honor that agreement that you did before you get that blessing so we need to grow in the things of god we need to use uh, 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 our minds in, in connection to god Let, we need not to take god for granted and say no we'll just ask for forgiveness then the things will will, will just uh, disappear <laughs> no it, it does not work like that so we need to honor what we've said look at the rainbow god said he will not uh, 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 destroy people ever again with with flood God honors that with people he made a covenant with people that he will not do it again now we see him every rain we see him he honors his word now when we do we do a vow or covenant with God we have to honor our word <laughs> pastor mapanga in in the last one minute yes, yes. that that we have please conclude on yes. on this matter yes I, i i wanted just to share a scripture in in second corinthians 9 whereby the word of god tells us that 
excuse me, <clears throat> God will bless you abundantly beyond what you ask or imagine if you give. And when 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 Pastor uh, Apostle Floyd was talking about where when God when when somebody does something good to you, you are wanting to share in all things with that mm -hmm. person. It is true, uh, Pastor Wisdom, that many pastors, because of the needs that they have, they tend not to trust God enough, even though they, they you know they have needs. Trust God enough and not intimidate people to say, if you don't give, uh, this is going to happen to you, to scare them and make them, you know, now give all they have, as we see in, in some of the uh, media uh, uh, or rather some of the messages in, in, in WhatsApp messages whereby the pastor says, hey, go and we throw well, this. Mm, and if you mm, don't, you know, mm, so yeah. there is a little bit of inhuman mm. uh, 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 work of the enemy that has uh, uh, come upon the pastor's. Of course, a little bit of greed as, as well and a little bit of, you know, being covetous and in, in, in wanting money. It's not necessarily about money. It's about obedience. It's about giving mm. out of love for God mm. and giving mm. cheerfully. Yes. So the only thing we can appeal, Pastor Wisdom, is that whoever is a servant of God is doing that, you have to have faith in God to provide and to supply all your needs. And if he doesn't supply all your needs through the church, he can also supply through other means and, and God will sustain you because his principles must be observed. He will never fail in order to actually supply our needs in doing his work. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Pastor, thank you so much. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to an end of our conversation. Pastor's desk, unpacking the Bible, a conversation where we are preparing God's people for the works of service until the body of Christ may be built up. Please, let's meet next time on the same place, same time on Nolu Unlimited Multimedia. And please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.